In national news, the Ohio Department of Health is launching a clinic in East Palestine tomorrow afternoon to address growing concern among residents. Comes more than two weeks after a train derailed, prompting officials to release and burn a toxic chemical to avoid an explosion. Residents say that they're experiencing headaches and nausea and feel uneasy about the air quality and drinking water. Here in Jacksonville, News 4 Jax reporter Jim Pickett shows us how one company is working toward a solution to prevent train derailments across the country. We continue to watch the impact of the train derailment in Ohio and the possible environmental effects on the community. Here in Jacksonville, while not as severe, we've seen chemical tanker cars derail along our tracks, like this four years ago when two tanker cars overturned into the Cedar River. That was on the north side. They were carrying ethanol. And in this case, we were told that the chemical did not leak into the river. Well, that wasn't the case in 2014 when a rail car went off the tracks near the Acosta Bridge. Businesses had to be evacuated, but in that case, we learned a very small amount of ethanol leaked into the ground. And Norfolk and Southern, the same company in the Ohio derailment, was held responsible for the incident here. The Ohio crash prompted the Secretary of Transportation, Pete Buttigieg, to fire off a letter Sunday calling on all major railroads to improve safety. In it, he says the department will soon outline specific safety improvements railroads should take immediately. He slams them for lobbying against steps to improve rail safety and to keep Americans safe. So while the Secretary of Transportation is calling for more safety with railroad companies, there's actually one company here in Jacksonville that's trying to do that. Duels Tech. It's on the south side. And you'll notice I'm not on any railroad tracks. What they're doing is using artificial intelligence to make the railways safer. This is promotional video from Duels Technology. It shows their rail car inspection portal. It works by using cameras, computers, and artificial intelligence, AI, to scan rail cars and tankers as they pass through a particular area. You can see the cameras here, and with the help of a series of computers, each rail car is scanned as it passes through the portal. It can detect if there's a potential problem. The rail companies are then informed. Now, this is being used by some railroads in the U.S., Mexico, and Canada, and we could see much more of this soon if the Department of Transportation and Congress deems it necessary.